Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to download the 3D Warehouse 3D models and import into Unreal Engine 4. Alright, the first, you enter this download link. This is 3D Warehouse URL. I already put this link in, in the video description. You just need to scroll down, check the video description and click into that. The 3D Warehouse itself is a search engine and there are a lot of users store and upload a lot of 3D models to 3D Warehouse. As demo, I will just search a very simple 3D model, for example, chair. Then I press enter. Next, let's say I choose a desired 3D models where I want to download. Maybe I choose this. I will click the picture. See, see more details. Right. Now I will click here. Download as the SketchUp 2018 models. It depends. It depends on your SketchUp software versions. I, I will choose 2018. Once I click it, it will download it as an SKP file. So you need a software that is named SketchUp. SketchUp Pro. My one is SketchUp 2018. Once downloaded, this is Google Chrome after downloaded. I just have a click. It will automatically open the SKP file it automatically opens in SketchUp. This is a chair model. Alright. In order to import to your Unreal Engine 4, here, you need to export it as FBX file first. Now I can close the Google Chrome browser. Here. Alright, here I will open a new folder. I will name it chair02. I will export as FBX file inside this folder. File. Export. 3D model. I will export it as FBX file. At right here. I will copy this location. Control C to copy and then I will click here, control V, this is the destinations. I will enter the FBX file name. I will just put chair02. This is a raw FBX file I export. Right, this is a chair02 FBX. If I double click, I can check with my 3D viewer. And this is the chair. If I want to import into my Unreal Engine 4, I open a new folder here. This is under content. I right click here, open a new folder. I will name it as chair02. Enter. I double click into this folder. First, I will try to import. See, will it be too complicated? We don't want the skeleton mesh. So I won't take here. After that, I will click import all. And this is the first try. It will pop out the message log. This one, you can close it after finish it. Now you can see this chair. It, it had been separated into so many different meshes. If you drag it out. It is something wrong there, you can see. So I will press Ctrl Z. I don't want all this. So I have another solution that can solve this. We don't want so many meshes because Unreal Engine is your game engine that you want this chair to be ready, ready to be animated, ready to 
it become the game ready 3D models. So we don't want all this. So this FBX file still be useful. I will use the 3D Exchange 7. Get this software. I, I purchased this software from Realusion. And at the same time, here I will open my iClon. iClon 7.91 so far for today. This is the latest version for today. All right. In this video tutorial, anything that involved with the Realution product, the iClon and Real Life Link, if you, you still don't know how to install and set up the Unreal Life Link, you can check this video in details. I already put this YouTube video link, how to set up iClone and Real Life Link. Check this video out for detailed workflow. You can scroll down to check the video description to, uh, to set up it. For my iClone 7, I already finished setup. The Unreal Life Link is already installed in my iClone 7. Now the SketchUp, I can close it already. All right. Once you already finish set up the Unreal Life Link, then click Plugins, Unreal Life Link to make sure you click here Unreal Life Link to activate it. Now my one is ready. The first thing, untick everything. Make everything untick. Next, this is the 3D Exchange 7. The FBX file just now, the chair 02, you have to import into your 3D Exchange 7 first. Click OK. Now, you can see if I use the human size as a reference, this chair is definitely too big. So I will just press, I will just press R and make this chair small. I press F to face the front. Press R again to make it smaller again. Because of this is human size, the chair size should be something like this. It's scaled to scale to 10% or all right, I can just put it 13 then I will click reset transform it will back to the scale of 100 align to center and align to ground now after you finish this step what you need to do is make sure the icon is already opened and here Click apply to iClon. Now you can see this chair already sent to iClon. And open your Unreal Life link. Make sure you click the little triangle beside the prop. And make sure you tick the chair 02. This is from the FBX file that I direct imported into 3D Exchange 7. Now in iClon 7. Make sure you take this and make sure your Unreal Life link, the Icon Life link, already set up inside your Unreal Engine game project. If you still don't know how to set up the Unreal Life link for Icon, then you can scroll down to the go to the video description. Here, I already give you a link that is a step by step workflow on how to set up the Icon Unreal Life link. All right. Now, I assume everything already done. It's finished setup, and iClone also already here, and Unreal Life Link already inside iClone. So now that is very very fine. Click the content again. Back to the main folder. Next, in your Unreal Life Link in the iClone, you click here. Click the setting. Make sure. And take this, place a set in scene, close. Make sure the 3D models that you want to send to Unreal, is Unreal Engine is already selected. 
now it's already selected then click transfer file now icon unreal live link is transferring these 3d models directly from icon to unreal engine all right now click the contents you can see Realusion folder RL content. The chair 02 is here. Alright, now we should create a static mesh. At the beginning, you don't have any of the static mesh, but you can find a skeletal mesh. Double click the chair 02 skeletal mesh. Is it still compiling the shader? No. All right, this is a white chair. So here I will just click make static mesh. And it will be under folder meshes. I will name it chair 02. I click OK. Close. All right, where to find your chair 02? I click the contents. It is under the meshes folder. The chair 02 is a static mesh. Before I put it into my game scenes, I, I will make sure I double click it. And then scroll down here. Make sure you get the collisions. The complex collision mesh here, collision complexity, you have to choose use complex collision, choose this one, then click save, close. Now, this chair 02 is ready to use. If I drag it into my scenes, I try to play, you can see this chair is there. All the collisions are completed. Of course, I can make it bigger. I press R. Play again. It tests the collisions. Now you can see, I'm standing on the chair. All the collisions are completed. It is really awesome. So all the FBX file, if you if you send to iClone first and use the iClone Unreal Engine, the iClone Unreal Life link to send to Unreal Engine 4, it will automatically complete all the works, all the jobs that you are going to set it step by step. It also combine all the different meshes into just one single mesh and make your life easier by using the iClone live link now you can see everything completed the collision also completed it is really awesome all right that's all for today about how to export the 3D warehouse, 3D models, and import into your Unreal Engine 4 to make it become an, a game object. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all to activate the notifications so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video, enjoy and happy animation and game developing, see you!